Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. This is Harley at Manifest Leo 13. I hope everyone is in great spirits. So we're going to go ahead and do a reading for November 2022 for Leo. We're going to be looking at career, money, um, messages, and we'll also be looking at what's going to be going on in your love life, Leo. So make sure you guys comment, share, subscribe as normal. Keep the motivation, the support coming for your girl. I really appreciate all the support. If you guys want to check out personal readings, I am offering a special for Leo's. Um, you guys are going to get the next 30 days read for you at a discounted price. If you are interested, it is a special for November 2022. So make sure you guys book. Those will uh, probably sell out. Okay, and I will be doing that at a discounted price. You get a video that you can watch. And it may even sometimes have predictions farther, farther out than November, but that's what we're going to be doing, okay? So let's see. We have solar eclipse, all right? And make sure if you guys want to check out my candles and oils, they are still at a discounted price, very discounted. So make sure you check those out for keep forgetting to mention that. Ooh, we have 10th house. You guys know I love the 10th house. You guys know I'd be ranting and raving and going on and on about the 10th house. All right. So um, there are some big changes in career. There's a big change in finances with the 8th house. Uh, if you have a business, expect some changes in that area. Um, I don't know necessarily if these are something you're going to see as positive changes or negative changes. Um, I feel like any change that we go through, it may feel negative at the time, but usually it's for a reason. So it may turn out to be positive in the long run. I don't know. You know, they try to be uh, optimistic about things. Look at that, the devil, as soon as I say. <laughs> um, so for some of you, what this could be is that maybe you are still holding on to a certain uh, career or job and spirit is forcing you to make a change when it comes to this. So that could be um, what's uncomfortable about it or what you don't like about it. So like I said, it may be a change that you don't like, but it could be for a certain reason. All right, I'm seeing a lot of Capricorn energy. So this is, it feels like this is definitely talking about career, 10th house. You have the eight of cups in reverse. Okay, so when it feels like the thing is, whatever the change is that you're going through, Leo, change, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's a change as in you're going to something brand new that you've never done before. It honestly feels like you may be returning to something that you used to do at some point. Yeah, something that you actually really love doing, ace of cups here, okay? Something that you enjoy, maybe you put it on the back burner to make money or to, um, you know, finance yourself. See, there's definitely a change coming, but it is positive. So we have the death and the sun card. And like I said, for some of you, this is you returning back to a certain path that you were on before. It's something that made you happy. But like I said, life calls and, you know, we have to make money. We have to support ourselves. So you guys may have had to walk away from something you really enjoyed or a dream that you had or something you really wanted to do as a child. But, you know, you may have, again, had to take care of some responsibilities instead. So let's see what's going on for November 2022 for Leo. All right. Yeah. High Priestess in the Ten of Wands. Like, you guys are going to have to sur to surrender. Okay. Some of you guys, this may be psychic abilities, like tarot. Some of you guys could have gifts that you started using. Maybe some of you guys started channels or you started to do... Yeah, YouTube, you started to do something and it feels like spirit is forcing you back into this. But it makes you happy or it would make you happy. Maybe the way that you're going to do it now with the level of experience and maturity that you have now, it will be a lot better for you because it's telling me this is something that your higher self is wanting you to return to, especially with the high priestess and the sun here. This is about soul growth. This is actually about what will make you happy in the long run, even though you may not see it that way. You guys may not think that this is something that will make you happy, but it is, okay? Uh, so you're you're feeling an energy of surrender here. Let's see how this is going to affect your finances in November overall. Let's give you like more of a concrete energy. So we have the Page of Wands, the Tower, and the Knight of Swords. So it's going to feel like you were thrust into something new, okay? It's going to feel like you were pushed into something new, maybe quicker than you wanted to do it. It feels like you have to do this you're feeling like you have to do it. You feel like you're, some sort of pressure is on or a circumstance happens that makes you uh, have to pursue this new path. Uh, it's like some of you may audition for a role and you don't think you're going to get it, but they pick you. 
it's something like that. Or you're going to apply for a job and you don't think they're going to pick you. You're like, this is an, I don't have the skill set for this. This is not on my resume. They aren't going to pick you. And they pick you. And you're like, whoa. Or some of you, it's a situation where maybe you're not getting the results that you want financially. So your finances, the way your financial status is right now, it feels like the, the only other way for you to support yourself or to feel balanced again financially is to go down this path. So there's an energy of you feeling like you have to do something quickly. All right. How does this play out for Leo in November? What's the outcome for Leo? All right. What's the outcome for Leo for November 2022? You guys got the devil and you have the high refent. So, um, hmm. Okay. Eight of, um, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So it feels like I'm getting this going one or two ways. So this is why I had to ask, especially with the hangman at the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys, I'm not going to lie. If you have a nine to five or something that you've been stuck doing, like, you know, I feel like you're in the two of wands energy or something like that. Whatever it is that you're holding on to, I still see you doing it in November. I still see you holding on to your regular nine to five day job or whatever you see as stable. But the funny thing, this, this other path that you're being thrust on, you're also being successful in that area as well. A lot of you guys, there's going to be some sort of influence or power that comes from this new path that you're going down. It's funny I mentioned acting. Some of you guys, this may very much have to do with acting. The, the devil card here is what I was seeing earlier when we got the 10th house. So for some of you, a lot of money is going to come in from this new path that you're on. But I see you guys still holding on to your other path. You're not ready to let it go yet. I don't see the Ace of Wands yet. You still have the Ten of Wands. So it feels like you're being forced into a new path, but you're still being the Leos that you guys are and you're holding on to the other thing as well. So you could be feeling a little bit tired or a little bit overworked in November, but it's honestly because you guys refuse to let go of the other um, the other path that you're on. You're refusing to let it go because you feel like it brings you stability. All right, so... Let me get another deck really quick for your love life. I'm going to use a different deck. So <laughs> my papers just flew out, period. So maybe some of you guys need to smoke. <laughs> some of y'all might need to smoke. I don't know. Um, some of you guys could be, if you do smoke, you're going to maybe feel like that. Or some of you guys, maybe um, you used to smoke and you're going to feel like anxiety. I'm not going to lie. The reason why I feel like you're going to feel this anxiety is because you, what am I trying to say? You feel rushed. You feel like you're not ready and spirit's like, but you are. And you're like, no, I'm not. And you're like, I am So I mean, you're, well, your higher self is like, I am. And your uh, 3D self is like, no, I'm not ready. Like, I'm not. So let's see what this love situation is. All right. Woo. There we go. And I wanted to show you guys what's at the bottom of the deck. It's funny. This uh, deck that I grabbed for your love reading. So we have the queen of wands. So yeah, we have breaking dishes. Okay. What's that about? What is that about? Breaking dishes. All right. Let's see. Hopefully this isn't literally about breaking dishes. We have the sun. So the breaking dishes card makes me think of the five of wands. There may be some sort of conflict here, but I'm almost getting like, I'm almost getting like competition for you a little bit. Yeah. It almost feels like there's competition for you. People are maybe upset that you are moving on or maybe upset that they have to compete for you. So you could be getting some static from people because they feel like you're just, you know, ready to go after what spirit has for you. You're not like tied to one specific outcome and it bothers people. This is bothering maybe an earth sign, an air sign or a fire sign in your life. We have the ace of wands. Yeah. Okay. So some of you guys could be meeting someone new or you've already met someone new while traveling, okay? So if you are taking a trip, whether this trip happens sporadically, I would definitely say if you are invited out on a trip or you let's say you have a trip that comes up for work, this is a strong indicator that you should go on that trip because you may meet someone new, okay? Someone is seeing you as also maybe looking for something new or someone new. And this could be bothering them. Now, I'm not saying that you are Leo, but this is maybe bothering someone. Yep. Someone's in their head about you moving on. The Eight of Swords. Okay. Yeah. 
If you do meet someone new in November, they are very um, attracted to you. This person will be thinking about you a lot. They feel like you shine really bright. Like I'm getting shine bright like a diamond. So you are most likely shining bright. I do feel like you guys are super busy this month as well. So this person could also be taking that personal. They could feel like you're just, you know, dating and talking to other people and blowing them off. When in reality, you've got a lot of financial stuff coming in with this career. This feels like it's astrological. Like there's some sort of career change coming in that you are very focused on. You have no choice but to because you have a tower moment there. All right. So we have the star. We have the will of fortune and the page of swords. Yeah, some of you guys are meeting someone new this month. I don't feel like this is an ex coming back. If it is, it's an ex who wants a whole new beginning with you. Like they don't want the same situation as before or, you know, a situation ship from the past. A lot of you just feels like someone new. If you have a social media platform, this person could definitely see you there. Like this is somebody who may come across your social media profile and they're like, this is the one I just heard. Isn't she lovely? Yeah. So, and then you have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So Whoever this person is that's coming in hot and heavy in November, they want a relationship with you. Do they interact with you, though, is the question. I don't really see a lot of, oh, okay. They're like, yeah, I interact with Leo. What do you mean? <laughs> the Four of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Death card. Hmm. As soon as I say I don't think this is an X, it could be two individuals because I was getting a fight for your energy. Like I said... There definitely could be a new energy coming in. Someone who's peaked you or they see you from across the room. Okay. The wheel of fortune. This is like to them. Destiny has brought them, brought you to them or your, their prayers have been answered. Maybe this person has been praying for someone like you. Okay. Now you could very well have an ex as well. Cause the page of wands to me means that somebody already has your number. They already have a way to contact you. Um, and we have the queen of swords. So, this would be somebody that you guys are probably on edge when they are, are communicating with you because you've ended things with this person or you've com you've put a lot of space and energy between the two of you. You've distanced yourself from this person, maybe with the intention that it would be over, that this would be done. So somebody from the past could definitely be hitting you up. What I am seeing overall is relationship moving forward. But the main thing that's coming through is a, it, an energy of choice or people competing for you and it feels specifically two different individuals competing for you I do like the newer person's energy though I do like the newer person's energy better okay I just the queen of swords and the death card is telling me that you felt like you had to walk away from someone already you know um and you would have to really think about whether or not you want to reconnect with this person. Like for some reason, this person puts you on guard or they make you feel like you have to assert boundaries and be real tough or, uh, you know, more of your shadow self with them. Whereas this new energy feels more light. It feels more passionate and it feels more honestly already grateful. This energy feels grateful to have come across you. So again, this feels like somebody who might even be questioning if their manifestation is just coming through because you have the eight of swords here, something about seeing you for the first time, meeting you is really have. It's like I'm here and take my breath away. Like there's something about you meeting you is just like so surreal to this person. It's just like, oh, my God, this is the person that I was praying for. I wanted to meet. OK, and they stumbled into my life and it's most likely through travel or you guys going somewhere for the first time, going to a restaurant you've never been at for the first time. So make sure when it comes to love this month, Leo, that you are trying new opportunities, new things. OK, if you're being invited out by new people who want to get to know you, that you're collaborating with, working with, try that out because it could be that you meet someone that you're destined to meet. But I also feel like an ex or somebody that you used to deal with is feeling this energy. And that's why you could be getting this five of wands energy, like some, some energy competing for you. Okay. 
So I hope that this helps, Leo. Thank you guys so much for your support and your patience. Let me know if you guys resonate with maybe a little bit about this or come back and watch it in November and leave a comment. Okay, again, I am doing a personal, I'm doing a reading for you guys, a reading special, sorry, for you guys. Um, it is discounted for Leos. I will be reading November 2022 for you, letting you know what's going to be coming up in your career, what will be coming up in your love life. Um, and I also have a, a, a bunch of other reading options you can check out if you're interested. Please make sure you check out my candles, my products, support the channel, guys. This is how I am supporting myself and my children right now. So thank you guys again for the support and I'll see you next time. Bye.